Let's talk about embedding. Embedded BI is the integration of business intelligence content, such as dashboards or reports, or even self-service functions inside of another application. The most common form of embedding is when you have an internal portal or an intranet, and you easily want to just give your users access to content in one place. It's also completely possible to wrap Dundas BI within another application. For example, you might have your own product where you want to offer business intelligence capabilities. So embedding Dundas BI within your application might be the way to go. In both these cases, you're embedding, and it simply depends on how tightly these systems need to be integrated. Let's take a look at how to embed Dundas BI content within other web-based applications. Oh, and I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. So let's start with a live example. If you've done any coding, I bet you've seen W3Schools before. It's a great site. W3Schools is an educational website for learning web technology online. Content includes tutorials and references relating to many technologies, including HTML. So I've gone ahead and built one of these W3 sites so that we can see exactly what it takes to embed. And as you can see on the left-hand side, this is all that's needed in order to embed Dundas BI content. First, you would include a header text, which brings in the Dundas BI embed library. From here, you just feed the information about the content that you want to embed. And there's three main things you need to input. What you're embedding, in this case, a dashboard, the server address for your Dundas BI server, and finally, the ID of the content you want to embed. Every dashboard or report has an ID behind it, which you can get. Let's run over to the Dundas BI samples gallery and pick a dashboard to embed. Any of these samples will work, so let's start with this one. From the URL, you can see that we can get both the server address and the ID of the dashboard. So let me copy this ID and I'll paste this code into what we already have. Now it's just a matter of executing this code and you can see the embedding happening right before your eyes. That's all it takes in the simple case. Also, while I've got this embedded, notice how the dashboard content is able to resize as I change the window area that we can see. Dashboards have different layout modes that they can use, and you might wanna look into this if you're gonna get into embedding because there may be different ways you wanna approach this. For example, pixel perfect or responsive styles. Now that you've seen this, there is also something else that you should notice. The samples in our gallery are set up for anonymous login, meaning that anyone who tries to access this content will be able to get in without ever being challenged with a login screen. We obviously want this for a public gallery, and in many cases, you might want something similar, for example, television-based displays. But if you're looking for simple anonymous login, it's something that's easy to do. Log into Dundas BI as an administrator, go to the admin screen, and create a new user which will be used specifically for automatic login. Now just take note of the account name and password, and if you go to the configuration settings, there's an option in here where you can tell it which to use anonymously. Simple. Now for embedding, you're probably gonna be more interested in security. And this is of course still possible. The easiest way to do this is to do nothing and simply embed Dundas BI like I just showed you. In this case, your users are gonna be challenged with a login screen and they'll be able to access the content once they've logged in. But what if you want to do something like log in for your users, like you would in the case where you have your own application and your own concept of security? Well, in this case, doing an embed completely in HTML would be inappropriate because it would open up an enormous security risk. All the user would have to do is right click on the source in order to see your security information. So to solve this, you would actually do this embedding using a server-side example. In my case, I'm gonna do this using Visual Studio, and this is a sample project that we provide as an example. Using ASP.NET, let's see how this works. So for starters, you can see that we have a page, default ASPX, which if you look at it, should be eerily familiar to the example I just showed you using pure HTML. As you can see, we're still doing the same thing. We still got our script tag, which is gonna bring in the embed library. And we've got a form. Now this form is currently not really doing anything, but it will. 
Now let's look at the code behind. And you can see that there's essentially two blocks of code here. The first dealing with login and another chunk dealing with what is going to be displayed. Let's start with the last part. You can see that this code behind is actually generating exactly what we had in our HTML when we had that server URL, the content type, the ID of the content. The only difference is we're now including a login token, which is like a one-time access pass that you would receive to get an active session to see content. By generating this token on the server and applying it to the page, this one-time token is used immediately and can't be intercepted by anyone who would abuse this for nefarious purposes. The concept is really important for security. So once all this information is structured, we're generating a div tag, just like that HTML example, and you can see below that it's programmatically filled into the form on that default.aspx page that I just showed you. The only part remaining is how do we handle the login and the generation of that login token that I was talking about. So let's look above. You can see that there's actually two paths to this sample. One is for a standard user, and the other is for automatic Windows authentication using Active Directory. Dundas BI supports both Active Directory and local users, so these code paths are kind of showing you how you would handle each. So let's look at the local user first. And you can see that it's calling a method called authenticate local user. Now if we go into this function, you can see that it's retrieving the username and password from a constant in this project. For testing purposes, you would just modify the constants file that we have, but this is actually a hook where for your own application, you would probably do something custom. For example, you might be generating a user on the fly and then logging in that user for them. Or you may already have a login process within your own application, and this is sort of a hook where you could take that information that you have about an active session and use that to log them into Dundas BI. It's kind of open to do whatever you need here. Once you know how you're logging in, we call the do authenticate method. And this method, you could pretty much just copy as is. It's really just talking to the REST API and performing the login. And you can see right at the bottom, it's returning a login token. Now, I won't walk you through the details here, but you can see that we get everything we need. Now, going back to the previous function, you can see that there's sample of code to allow for that Windows authentication that I talked about. And all this is doing is pulling their current context out of the browser and logging in for them. So that's really all it takes for server-side embedding. Log in, retrieve a login token, and apply that information to the form. Now let's go ahead and run the sample. And you can see that my dashboard's embedded on my page without the need to see a login screen because we handled it. So that's all it takes to embed Dundas BI using both a simple and a custom case. But don't forget that this project is available and you can download it from the Dundas support site. You're certainly not gonna have to write all this yourself. Hope you like this. Now, if you've gone this far, you probably are looking to embed something. So I'd recommend taking a look at two other videos that we did, which will explore similar concepts. The first is create a consistent experience with white labeling as rebranding Dundas BI to your needs is gonna go hand in hand with the concept of embedding. The other is leverage the REST API in Dundas BI for external administration, as someone looking to embed would typically wanna do a deeper level of administration. This is definitely gonna be some great content and well worth the watch if this is something you're looking into. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.